Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Queen Elizabeth II is obsessed with Archie's red hair. When the Sussexes decided that they could no longer thrive as senior working members of the British royal family, fans were devastated that their son, Archie Harrison, would not grow up around his cousins, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. Royal experts were also horrified that Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex's son, would not be able to spend time with his great-grandparents, Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip. Still, the Sussexes did intend to split their time between the UK and the US, but the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic has prevented that. Instead, the Sussexes have resorted to keeping in contact with the royal family through Zoom and video calls. In fact, they often chat with the Queen who adores seeing Archie. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle love their new life in California. In less than a year since leaving the royal family, the Sussexes have found their permanent home in Santa Barbara, and they've also become financially independent after signing a multi-million deal with Netflix. Though the royal family is reportedly not all that thrilled about the deal, since they were not informed before it happened, and they fear it will distract from their work, the Suskses have woked to repair their relationships with the royals while stepping into a life that makes them happy. Prince Harry is smitten with his new life. During a recent video call, he revealed, I am loving it. It's fantastic. What I need is a few mini rugby balls that I can get Archie involved with the game. I've got a little bit of space outside which we're fortunate enough to have. We've got a whole Rugby League World Cup coming next year. I definitely plan on coming back. I would have been back already had it not been for COVID. Archie can often be seen on Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's Zoom calls. So far, the Sussexes have reportedly not hired a nanny to watch their son after having a less than stellar experience with a night nurse shortly after his birth. Instead, Meghan's mom, Doria Ragland, splits her time between Santa Barbara and Los Angeles to help with her grandson. Since Archie is always near his parents, he can often be spotted on various Zoom calls with the Sussexes team. Finding Freedom, author Carolyn Durant said. When Harry and Meghan do video, conferencing calls with their team and with members of the community, you will often see Archie pop into the camera. He's now walking a bit. They're very, very hands on parents. Queen Elizabeth II is obsessed with seeing Archie and his red hair on Zoom. Prince Harry has kept in touch with his grandmother, the Queen his brother, Prince William, and his father, Prince Charles, by a video call. They speak often, but especially on special occasions like the Prince's 36th birthday, which is September 15th. Royal expert Diane Mehany said, They always talk on important days like that. The Queen reportedly enjoys seeing her great-grandson the most. A royal insider told Diane, According to a family friend, the Queen loves watching Archie on screen and has commented on his streak of red hair. It's going to be so sweet when it's safe for the Queen to reunite with Archie. Another analysis. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's new life shows how much they were held back by the royal family. When Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex Wednesday in May 2018, the entire world seemed excited to see what this young modern couple could bring to the British royal family. Unfortunately, almost as soon as she snagged a royal title, the press and royal fans seemed to turn on Meghan. Though she tried her best to press forward into the royal fold with new ideas, rumors swirled that the Duchess was difficult to work for, and she was continually the subject of racist and sexist attacks in the media. After two years, the Sussexes decided enough was enough, and they resigned from the firm. Now, with a new home in Santa Barbara, a contract with a speaking firm, 
and a multi-million deal with Netflix, which allowed them to repay costs for renovating their UK home, Frogmore Cottage, the Sussexes are living their best lives. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle felt used by the British royal family. It has been reported that Prince Harry was unhappy for years, well, before meeting Meghan. That unhappiness was exacerbated following his marriage when ideas and plans the Sussexes had were usurped in favor of funding for the Cambridge. A source said, The truth is Harry had been unhappy for a long, long time. He wanted to move in the direction that they did, and had been considering it for more than a year. Meghan supported Harry's decision. But there was more than one occasion where she asked him if he was certain it was what he wanted. And she always made it clear she would support him in whatever he did. In Carolyn Durand and Omid Scobby's best, selling book Finding Freedom, they write, he felt at once used for their popularity hounded by the press because of the public's fascination with this new breed of royal couple, and disparaged back within the institution's walls. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have outlined a bold new life. With the Netflix deal which is set to include documentaries, feature films, scripted shows, and children's programming as well as their speaking engagements and Arkawell Foundation, the Sussexes have a bold new life just nine months after exiting the royal family. Town and Country Reports The couple and their work has not diminished since they stepped back as working royals. Though there is a common refrain from critics on social media that they are less relevant or interesting now, that they are no longer part of the royal machinery, that would seem at odds with the fact that they still generate as much debate and as many stories as they ever did. The Sussexes' new life proves the British royal family held them back. Securing a new forever home in Santa Barbara, speaking out against injustices, along with their $100 plus million Netflix deal proves, Meghan and Prince Harry never needed the royal family to thrive. Stabby explained, The couple had been thriving and have taken their careers as philanthropists to a whole other level. It shows how much they were held back by tradition, hierarchy, and stubbornness within the institution. This is the couple operating in a way they were desperate to for some time, but couldn't for a number of reasons, many of which tie into what is considered too politically sensitive or not. Another report. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's fundraiser cancellation is causing quite a stir. People are not happy after Prince Harry and Meghan Markle cancelled a fundraiser, which was meant to help wounded veterans. The event was expected to raise at least $1.3 million for the Invictus Games Foundation, which was founded by Prince Harry. The music and comedy show was slated to take place in June 2021 in California, most likely at the Hollywood Bowl. Harry and Meghan were slated to make speeches at the event, and Beyoncé and Ed Sheeran were expected to perform. Critics claimed that the event was cancelled, as it was set to air on Amazon, which would present a conflict as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex recently inked a multi-million dollar deal with Netflix, a competitor of Amazon. The couple's legal team said that the event was actually cancelled due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The lawyer said, The true position is that the format of the event was no longer viable in light of COVID-19. These factors were separate to and independent of our client's deal with Netflix. This isn't the first setback for the Invictus Games Foundation this year. May spokesperson for Invictus backed this up, saying, The event was shelved because the primary revenue generator was ticket sales from a live concert in Los Angeles in the spring of 2021. Given current circumstances with COVID, the event needed to be reconceptualized. This was an independent decision made prior to a partnership with Netflix. The Duke remains committed as ever to the Invictus Games. This isn't the first setback. The Invictus Games Foundation has seen this year due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Earlier this year, 
Prince Harry announced that the Invictus Games, which were supposed to be held in May of this year, would be postponed until 2021. He said in a YouTube video, This was an incredibly difficult decision for all of us to have to make, and I'm so grateful for everybody that's worked so hard over the past couple of weeks to try to find any alternative to try and carry on these games in a different way, in a safe way. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Stop.